Happy Friday. So today is testing day. Uh, so we have our our panel. Uh, we're testing a turbo mill, uh, computer, and all the diagnostics and everything. So the way we do it is uh, this here is actually a remote uh, panel. We have our display, and then down here we have all the individual uh, VFDs. So the reason we put the VFDs, most people mount the VFDs. Well, actually, on the on the VFD itself, there's a spot for it. So right on here. But the reason we don't put it there is because uh, technically you can't open this up unless you're in full suit uh, to do any diagnostics on it when it's on. So by doing it out here, you can go in and do any programming or change that needs to happen uh, in this itself. Now, obviously, the PLC and the display and all that, we can we can uh, you know log into this remote. We can update it. We can even plug into it in the front. So that's not an issue there. But this here, um, if there's any individual setting on the VFD other than Hertz or uh, a technician could go from here um, and adjust that. So uh, now here we have a screen for this screen here. Now we do these, uh, forgive the glare, we do these with, sometimes we'll just mirror it. So if you wanted to have this, basically this capability in a remote room, you could put this display or this pedestal in a separate room and do everything from there that you could do here. In this case, this is actually, it's all connected together, but this here, this particular screen is for that air table. So right here we have the uh, table angle, rise rise and lower. And right now I'm, I'm lifting up and you can see it's climbing up and you can see that table on the inside is kind of zoom in here. And now I'm gonna go ahead and lower it. So speed of the blower and so forth. We have the auto start feature. When you turn on, it turns everything on. Uh, you have manual controls. And this is every item if you wanted to turn on manually. So for example, um, if you go back to the main screen, if you, uh, let me see your speed settings. So here you have your speed settings. So uh, forgive me here with the glare, it's a little hard to, little hard to see it on the, on the camera, but you have the individual uh, speed settings for each, for each item. Um, the screeners and the air tables. So you can adjust everything from here. And then if you wanted, say you wanted to just clear this out, you wanted to just run this, on your on your uh, manual controls, you could bypass, because everything's everything is contingent on something else in front of it being on or off. So in this case here, you could bypass, put in your bypass code, and you could turn on just that one item that you need to turn on. Uh, so back to the main screen, auto start, auto stop, your speed setting. So this is each individual component. So this is the speed setting for the blower, table B blower, table A blower, the main blower from the delamination mill, the dosing hopper, and your screener, uh, and then the vibrator uh, on the table, the, the, the table uh, vibration intensity. Um, and by pushing default settings, you can put everything back to the default settings. Um, then we also have maintenance logs in here. So we have a grease the lamination mill, check out, uh, check the lamination mill, mill belt tension, grease, screener, bearing, top and bottom. Um, and these here will, will give you an alarm and the only way you can reset it is by putting in a passcode. Um, so your maintenance, your, your general maintenance is, uh, is in this. Uh, your motor specs are in here as well, so all your motors. So if your electrician needs to look at something, it's kind of hard to see here. Um, man, I wish I had some not so bright lights in here. Uh, so you can you have all of your FLAs, your la equipment label, horsepower FLA and FLC. Um, and then there's also the motor hour, so all your hour meters, and then the user manuals. So every, every piece of equipment that's attached to this mill um, is going to have the user manual in it. So it's a PDF viewer, the user manual gets loaded into here, and then you can scroll through and you'll have the, uh, the user manual. And then you can turn, go through the pages. They probably haven't loaded them in here yet. Um, and, uh, and that's it. And then your, your settings, right? So your uh, overcurrent, undercurrent, and that's all, uh, all right available in here. And then if you've messed it up, you can just hit the, and there's parameters, right? So there's parameters that 
um, it won't let you go above and below and then you press the default and it'll reset everything the way that it came um, from the factory so that's just one of the things that uh, that we do on our uh, on our PLCs and on our electrical uh, there's a lot more but hopefully uh, that was beneficial and uh, and if you um, main screen and if you have any questions or would like to see a full demo uh, just give me a call and uh, we'll make that happen so like comment subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one happy friday